What's going on everybody? Welcome to Unpack. Oh yeah. The new series here at Chase Thrifts where we go through each and every single freaking box that we find in a storage unit and we spend 5, 10, 15 minutes on the box itself and not the whole unit, you know? So each episode we'll be going through one box and one only box, maybe a bonus box, and going through the contents to see what's in there, see what kind of treasures we can find, and it should be a fun time, right? All right, so let's get started with the first box we have on the docket today. It's this red box that was locked, and I cut the lock off, so let's dive deep in here, see what's in this box. Okay, so for a normal YouTuber, I'd be more, uh, you know, supplied with, I'd like to have two cameras, but we only have one today, so we're just gonna go through here unlock the box and then after we unlock this box we might have a different camera angle to go off of as we go forward um so here is the box itself all high and mighty all right we also have fiend and wanda here helping us today so you might hear them in the background you know crying and stuff all right let's go through the box first up we have looks like a, a vhs camera Oh yeah, this is the highest, high and mighty stuff back in the day. You put your little eye in there, you know, you pop your cap off and you make some home videos. The good home videos, right? You don't, you don't do anything nasty in them. So usually you hit the eject button and this thing will come out, but it has no power to it. So we're just gonna set it to the side. This thing is a fit, you know, it's pretty much worthless in the current state it's in. I think they're worth maybe 20 bucks. It looks like there's a charger right there for it, all nice and neat wrapped up that's a jvc and then that's a uh that's not a jvc so that's a uh, series xl I, I don't even know anyways uh moving on we have a cassette tape player and let's see if there's the eject button through here that eject uh duh, 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 duh. anyways where is the eject button on this thing it's just, it's just, okay. Yeah, you throw your favorite tape in there. Pull it out, and then this one is I'm Green. I don't know what I'm Green is, but uh, we'll go around with it, so. Um, this might work, we might not, we'll, we'll find out later. So you put it on your pocket, you know, strap it on your pocket and go downtown running. All right, we have a book called Freedom at Midnight, and it's got illustrations in it. Oh, well, that's the um, the Indian, uh, what's it called? The Indian Gate or something like that? Yeah. Yeah, the Indian Gate. Wait, I don't even know anymore. It's, I don't care. If you know what that is, put down below in the comments because I'm dumb. I'm just trying to rush through this stuff. We have a corded microphone here and it is from Singing Machines, Inc. On, off. Pretty standard, huh? <coughs> All right, next up we got a uh, baseball, a Dudley baseball, uh, has JMC. Don't mind my finger, I cut the crap out of it, so. Um, yeah, thunder something, thunder something on there. I don't really know, it doesn't feel like a really heavy ball, but there we go. This one looks like a Fisher Price ball. And it's got a little little hole in it, maybe a T-ball. You can whack it off there. One of the two. Right. Either way, pretty cool. Uh, not really, I haven't really found anything worth a lot of money, but here's some money, speaking of money. It looks like it's um, a license plate cover. It has the holes right there, but there's no holes down there. Just a giant thing of money, a giant $1 bill. I'll take that, I guess. And there is a $20 bill. Let's see if we can pull out this little package. Oh, look here, there we go. I don't think it's a real $20 bill. Maybe it's a uh, historical money booklet. Okay. Okay, it's just a little booklet on money and they put, it, they put funny and they put money on the front. Okay, cool. We had a on the border Mexican cafe check. You know, when you get your check from the Restaurant, I guess. I don't know why it's why would someone keep that. You know, the people you buy stuff from storage units, they keep the weirdest things. 
Um, you just never know what you're gonna find. We have Midnight Magic from the Commodores in this sweet tape right here. Um, a lot of these are just like pre-recorded tape, which I'd love to hear uh, if I get one of these tape machines running. Uh, they're really finicky as they get older. This one's called Elizabeth. Okay. I don't want to go through all these, so... Um, but I do have a bunch more to go through. If, oh, Stevie Wonder, Woman in Red. It's a bunch of other ones I can't read. This one's called Quincy Jones. Okay, moving on. Um, we have like a weird X. Oh, I just fell off. A little X thing on there. Um, okay, so it looks like we have a pin right here. And... Oh, it's a microphone you plug into the pen so you can listen to music in class or something. It's just discreetly, I'm, I'm guessing. So I wonder if the pen actually comes out here. Oh, yeah, it does. It's an actual pen that actually works as an MP3 player. Huh, I wonder how you put music in there. Uh, I don't really care. That's really old technology right there. Um, a lot of the stuff I've been finding is old technology. Hey, speaking of old technology, look at this. We have a one-step Polaroid land camera. Usually these um, instant cameras that are Polaroid, I can get like 25 bucks a piece off of them on eBay. And usually one guy buys them all from me. Um, so here's 25 bucks. So what's in here? We got a, oh, it's a steamer. A little handheld steamer, you can steam clothes or steam something. Looks like it hasn't even been used. Pretty, pretty neat there. Okay, we have uh, Kevin Costner in the JFK film. It's a director's cut and special edition. This thing's worth, this is priceless, guys, right? Oh my lordy. Let me just hit the jackpot right there. We have another, I think, no, this is not a cassette player. This is just a uh, radio, AM, FM, stereo, personal receiver. I mean, it's personal. You strap it on your your jean pocket, your jorts as you go running up and down. Oh, wow, look at the, wow, that's not gonna work anytime soon. Uh, yeah, put that in the junk pile. We have, it looks like an old cell phone, maybe? Oh, yeah, look at that Nokia, holy crap. The old, oh yeah, the old style antennas, you know, you get the old Nokias. I have a bunch of these now, I've been collecting them. Oddly enough, um, you know, none of them ever work because the batteries are so old. But I used to play snake on these, my old mom's cell phone, you know, when I was just a wee baby. Um, I just remember playing snake on these things. That's all I remember these things from. Uh, we got uh, a pair of sunglasses here. There's some rad, rad sunglasses, sun classics. Hmm. Nothing too important here. Other than we have a Canada Mist sticker on them, because you know you want to be in style when you have your sunglasses with you. You want to make sure everyone knows you drink Canada Mist. Uh, oh, how do you get back in here? There we go. All right, moving on. Notorious, Notorious Juice, OJ, the Juice Man. This is like a single album in here. It's like one of those uh, demos, right? T.I. Paper Trail. That's not the same album, I don't think. Maybe, I don't know. Oh, then we have Rocky Balboa, you know. Classic, it's Christmas. You know, Christmas is coming up here soon, so it just makes, makes sense, right? Well, looks like we have another cell phone in here. Oh, it's a classic Samsung flip with with the uh, charger, mind you, right here. Oh my gosh, that's that's a flashback to the early 2000s right there. We have some 22 long rifle shells, plated around the nose. See so if we can get a few of these out, just look at them. All right, look at that. Plated round nose 22 shells. All right, there's about, um, what does it say? How many is in here? I don't know. There's probably about 50 or so. Add that to our little 
Some ammunition collection unit going on. We have some keys. A little pocket thing, a belt thing. I don't know, but there's some like skeleton keys in here. Skeleton key, skeleton key right there. I think this is a keychain. Yep, it's another it's a little keychain in the sides. Does it say anything on the keychain? Just it says made in Taiwan. I don't know what the significance of that is, but we have a quality quality in um, room key card. You know, here to stay in some quality places. He's staying at the quality inn. Is this a wallet? That's not a wallet, is it? That is a little baggie with nothing in it. Hmm. Okay. We have a Metro Call. It's a pager, right? Is that a pager? I think it is. Motorola. Yeah, I think this is a pager. I mean, I don't, I've barely ever seen these other than finding them in storage units, so uh, correct me if I'm wrong. I'd be pretty sure this is the pager. Oh, then we have a stack of cards down here. We have Alonzo. I don't know anything about cards, by the way. Um, you have seen me in the past. I don't know anything about cards. I do find them. I just sit, like, I found like a bunch of them like this. I just set them in an auction on eBay and let it do its course. Oh, there's an, like an old one right there. Texas Ranger Larry Gura. A pitcher. I don't know when these are, how old these are. They don't have a date or anything. Oh, this is 1973 up there, though. So these might be some 70s cards. Yep. We have uh, Fred Shearman. The Astros. What else is in here? Bunch of other card, random cards here. Oh, is that a Pokemon card? <laughs> Look at that. You get an electrode. Shiny electrode. Um, yeah, it's an original one, 1996. I think it's original. It's a yeah, I know I know Pokemon cards a little bit, but I don't I don't know enough like to, to tell you a price like a dollar maybe, because it's all in crappy condition. Uh, Tigers, Yankees. Looks like these are some newer cards. The Marlins. Like I said, I usually auction these off because I just don't want to deal with them. I know um, it just takes a lot of time to research them. If you don't know them top of your head, you're going to sit there for a week looking at these cards. This one is 1985 Topper, Rangers Doug Raider. Cool. All right, we got a thing of cards. Uh, we got some artiste brushes, not too shabby. We got some sandpaper. Oh yeah, a whole booklet of sandpaper. Old Coke bottle. Indiana United uh, Football Club. You know how they spell football? F-U-T-B-O-L. Have a Dish Network, uh, yeah, remote. And a Stellar Scope. Oh, what the heck is this thing? A stellar scope. Oh, wow. You can see the night sky on here. You can change it around too. I wonder if I can get some camera. Change around the night sky and stuff. Looks like there's more little attachments in there you can put on there. A stellar scope, pretty neat. You can get the booklet in here. That's high class, maybe five bucks, ten bucks right there. Ooh, we got a box, a mystery box. A box within a box. Uh, we have a crystal. I wonder if anything goes on top of that. Hmm. Got maybe a pair at one time with the with the top missing. We have an apple, a crystal apple. Oh wow! And last but not least, we have a elephant. Oh, it says Alden lead crystal made in the Republic of China. Republic of China. When it, when were they last called the Republic of China? I don't know. 
That just doesn't just say made in China, Republic of China. Oh, okay, here we go. We have a uh, what? We have looks like a a vial in here. Oh, oh yeah, it's a clear vial. It looks like there's some white stuff on the outside. There's a crystal or something in there. <laughs> is this related to drugs? Uh, maybe. Maybe it is. Is this like a detachable? No, it just stays in there. It's a little handy dandy uh, drug kit you put in your pocket, I guess. Just call it that. And then we have a Nintendo Zapper. Oh lord. Nintendo Zapper. Another 10 bucks right there. So, there we go. There's the uh, entire box right there. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, we're going to be trying to make these videos every, about twice a week because they're easy to make and I can pump them out. So uh, hit a like and subscribe if you like this this video. Okay, Fiend. Oh, I get, I get it. I get it. I get it. We'll see you guys later.